All right. How's it going, guys? Today we're playing Roblox is Unbreakable once again and finishing part five. And also at the end of the video, I'll be doing some PvP to show off Sticky Fingers, which from what I've seen in of PvP is actually pretty broken. Part five compared to part one wasn't nearly as long. It's just the map was pretty big, so it takes you a while to get around if you don't have any mobility moves. But other than that, it was just as good as part one. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So we're finally, finally back on this game gonna do some vento aerial or i don't even know if i pronounced that right but you know you know just golden wind so the first quest are gonna have us talk to kuichi all right this map now i know this is supposed to be uh italy this map is like i feel like it's a lot bigger than the part one map but i'm not sure maybe because like this is supposed to be the main part of the game i don't know i, I don't i don't know what they're doing it oh yeah i also i also got a stand when I ended, I didn't show it in the video, but I ended up getting it because actually once you reach like level 25, I think you have over 50% chance of getting the stand. And and by then, I think it's pretty easy. Oh, yeah. And I figured out what the homeless men do. You give them money to give you EXP. It's pretty simple. Hold me up. Easy. Right, let's see what coach he wants. Probably not going to use the stand much because I still have all my stats in Hamon. And I think I need a Roka to actually reset it. Let's see. You guys stole my suitcase and ran off. Can you please retrieve it for me? Yeah, I got you. This is where we're gonna meet Jordan. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. I pressing, I don't know why I keep pressing alt. Because I have I have my stand like pull out binding to alt. It's not like I have any moves for my stand anyways. Alright, let's get over to Jorno. It's time to beat the crap out of Jorno. I'm probably just gonna use a moment because all my stats are into it. What the okay? <laughs> Wait, is this a seven page? Bro, off rip? There's no way. Okay, well. I mean like I I can't I can't do anything about this. Bro, this really this really is a seven page. Just just off rip. Alright, well that was like, you know, 75% of my HP. Whatever, I guess. Oh my god, and I just get caught in barrage right after. Yeah, this is this is gonna take multiple takes, I guess. I might send a wave not hit him. Oh nah. Yeah, it might it might be time to just go buy a Roka and reset my stats, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting my ass beat. Oh my okay, yeah, it might it might just be time to go snag a stand, like a reset, stat reset or something. We put my points into my stand. Oh my god. Okay. Right, so I had to go all the way back to part one. I didn't. I don't know. I know there's the merchant guy from part one where you can buy like Rokas and and Rokas in this game don't reset your stand. They actually reset your stat points. So I don't know how you get rid of your stand. You probably just have to use the arrow over it again. But I switched my build around to be more uh, built around my actual stand. I think it's probably going to be easier to fight things if I actually use my stand instead of you know Hamon. Cause it's like it's part five and all. I don't know. At least, at least I, I could probably get it back into my build soon. Cause all I need is skill points to do so. All right, so let's actually now we can actually kind of beat on. Oh my god, I was I was gonna say we could actually kind of beat on him now. All right, hit him with that uppercut. Yes. So I also I also have a beat down as well. So I guess the beat down you need to like fill up a bar to do it, and it's like. You can't block it, but oh well, you know. I, I guess if you're Jorno, you can you can just do it while you're getting hit. I guess. What's even crazier throughout that whole beatdown, he started regenerating his health. Oh my god, I would have died, bro. He has two barrages. What is that, man? <laughs> he literally has two barrages. Oh my god. Am I still on cooldown? What the heck? Like you He just he, he, Oh, so he can cancel my beat down? Oh my okay. Whatever, he's about to Nope. Alright, well, I, I was gonna say he was gonna die, but I guess not. He, he healed himself. All for me. Bro. <laughs> oh bro, I thought he killed me. Oh, what? Oh, he's. Oh, we can talk to him. What the hell? Here's a suitcase. Come meet me at the cafe. I need to talk to you. What? Okay, I guess. 
like like gold experience gets two barrages what the hell like he started he starts hitting me with the hands and he starts kicking me like bro on on top of a beatdown like come on dan is broken what the hell oh yeah you also i forgot you could also heal if you just come to a bar how much health does it give you yeah that's a good that's a good bit i guess oh, i didn't mean to press that Ooh, now i won't get caught lacking i wish sticky fingers had like the iconic like zipper glide move that it has in almost every game, but yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't think I don't think any stain has mo has like a mobility skill in this game. Right, let's get to the cafe, probably where the rest of the what is our game called? Passion? Yeah, where, where, we, where we see Bruno and all of them, I, I would assume at least. All right, let's see. Okay. Need a favor from you there's this Genshin and Luka. Luka. Oh no, we're, we're not even we're not even there yet. We're, we're starting we're starting with Luka. Okay. Now oh, we gotta go beat up Luka. Oh man. I've seen a lot of people in the last video say they didn't like that combat, but honestly to me, yeah, it does feel iffy in regard to like there's no there's no knock knockback hit on like the last hit of your M1 combo, which kinda like just like lets the NPCs just hit you the moment you're um, you finish M1 in. But other than that, it, like, like, that's like the only thing I can see. Like, other than that, it's, I, it actually just kind of feels like YBA or any other JoJo game. I, I don't know. The, co the combat's like iffy here and there, but I, it's it's not like it's it's still playable, I guess. Like, I, I can still play the game. Yeah, without a doubt, I feel like this map is definitely way bigger. Oh, taxi driver. Oh, yeah, there is a fast travel. Okay. Like compared compared to like how big London was, this is definitely bigger. But like maybe as a whole, the maps are like kind of the same size because there's multiple locations in the other part in part one. This guy's a chum. God, he just has a shovel. I was just fighting for my life from from fucking Giorno. <laughs> now I gotta fight Leaky Eye Luca. That's not that's not much of a fight. Zipper up a cup him. Arm extend. I see there's zippers like. Like spawning on him. I don't know what those do. Gotta look into that. Hit him in a roundhouse. And a heavy and boom, he's out of here. Yeah, it's like, bro, come on. <laughs> Leak Lee yeah, you look after after fighting Giorno. Damn near should have damn near could have put a fucking uh might as well been using a record arrow if you're using seven pages to start of the series. Need a ride. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this map looks way bigger. Uh, where'd Jorno be? I guess near the city center. Let's see. They can be any closer to him. Yeah, kind of. I guess. Kind of. Yeah. All right. Back at Jorno. We near the train station. We have a bigger problem. Well, we're probably gonna fight Bruno now. Oh, need more fast travel locations. This map is big as hell. <laughs> oh my god. This reminds me of when I was playing YBA and I was using a... What's that one ice stand? It's like it's like a full body armor stand, but like it produces ice and it just runs around. I, that's, that's what I did when I was farming Rokas and Arrows in YBA when I used to play it. Thank god there's a fast travel location to the train station. Jorno's right over there on the bench. Yeah, it totally doesn't stand out with a pink suit. <laughs> Six was hilarious, bro. But what is that? Oh, it's a steel ball. I don't know if they're spinning the game, but I would assume there is if they're steel balls. I just I just don't know who you'd go to to actually use them. Here, involvement with Lukai Luka game members after both of us. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting Bruno here. All right. Beat the gang member. Like I know, I know it's Bruno. Come on. I, I know, I, I know my JoJo lore. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go beat his beat his ass with his own stand. You know, unless he starts using moves, I don't got. All right, there he is. Money. Private servers are nice. Hit him with that. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna use this beat down on me without even having to having to charge it up. I bet. I bet. Oh well, I, I have that move. But I just don't have it unlocked. Oh my god. Yep. Bro. 
damage. Hello? Whatever. Get off my screen, man. All right, hold on. What? Bro, I keep forgetting that it's that I, I bind my. I might just switch it around. Oh yeah, I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Oh my god, I just got stout on by an NPC. Holy shit. Why did it spawn me here? Bro, take me back to the train station. Ah, I keep clicking it too fast. I'm trying to skip the dialogue. Wasted my money. Okay, cool. All right, we're, we're stopping my run back. Right, just remember that, you know, pull out stand is E. I mean, not E, fucking Alt and not Q. But I'm just sit there looking like an idiot. Oh, <laughs> does that move pull out my stand? <laughs> what? Get off of me, man. Hold on. Oh, brother. Okay. Oh, man. Hit him with that. Put down that block. Come on. What is with the high from run this guy, bro? Bro, he's making me look like a chump, and I'm using the same stand as him. Right, hit him with the barrage. Please let me confirm my M1 combo. Bro, I can't even get the heavy punch off. Use the uppercut. Pull him towards me. I'm just getting flossed on. Like, I'm I'm actually just, just getting flossed. Like, like bro. He's, he's pulling off all these combos. I, I didn't even know you could do with this stand. I didn't even know Armor Stand pulled people towards you. Hold on. Hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe Sticky Fingers is actually tough in this game. It just spawns me in a random location. I don't, I don't even have a taxi near me this time. Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully this is the last and final time I gotta fight Bruno, bro. Got healing and shit. Bro, where did my stick? This, 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 this is some great A malarkey, bruh. Get off of me. Just, just gotta just gotta know what moves I gotta use when, when I gotta use them. It's simple. Please stop taking up my stand. Alright, I am not getting any any more use to this control scheme. Gotta use that. Alright, dash in. Catch him with the barrage. One. Heavy punch. Excellent. Pull him. Punch, man! What is what is that, bro? I'm not losing to this NPC more than more than two times in a row. Come on! All right, what do you want? I will be joining your organization. I plan on defeating your boss and taking over the city. Excellent! Holy hell! That that like that head rip off move is broken, it, and it puts up the stand. Like, what is going on, man? Let me put some skill points in. <clears throat> into my stand but i need my stand to be stronger honestly uh so i know these upgrades just make zipper uh zipper upgrade have more range i don't know what that really gonna do you'd be better off using that move up close anyway but let me get head detach yeah that's gonna be on x need that i think the duration the duration is what makes that move like kind of broken i think you're just defenseless in that state all right need some more skill points so i need to save up some more skill points these, these part five bosses have been hooking me, bro. Holy ho. Cafe. Excellent. Bruno's the only person in here. All right. If you're part of the gang, you should meet the other members. Go talk to Guido. Mista. I've not seen the Mista NPC nearby. Bro, if that's the... Why I gotta come out the store and go across the street to go talk to them? Why he's not just chilling in the cafe with Bruno? <laughs> like, what? Bro, they better not have me go talk, like, go across the map to go talk to the Ranchi and fucking, uh, Abakio. Like, what, bro? Which opposing gang members around here and need you to deal with them? Oh, he's, he's, he's brought me a quest. We need five gang members. Where are the gang members? Is this a gang member? Okay, it's a mafia member. I, I, I assume it's the same thing, really. At least I hope so. Yeah. All put your head. Hey. With that, pull him towards me. Get, bro. Whatever. Get out of here. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for mafia members. All right. 
I've seen there's there's like a lot of NPCs just standing on corners. Or like those those really aren't like like half of those are just corrupt cops, and some of these are just actual like like gang members. So I need to look out for them. But like they're so like far and few. This, this map is huge, bro. Really, really wish I had that zipper glide belt now. I actually, see what the beatdown is. Even though it's probably the same exact thing that the NPC used on me, though. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, at least, at least, at least, Sticky Fingers has a beatdown. Usually, usually these JoJo games don't give Sticky Fingers anything. Good work. Does not remember turning to Bodice anymore. Put me up with Alpacchio. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually have to go talk to all of them individually. Alright, well, let's see where the story takes me, I guess. Even though I know where it's gonna take me. Oh, well. It, it, it's, it's, that, it's just the same quest, but like, it, I think this is easier for at least the corrupt cops are like... There's a lot more of them than the Mafia members, I think. At least on this side of the map. Oh well, I guess. That what? That was not a perfect block. What is that? What is that perfect block window? Some BS. Is that move like auto aim? I don't know. Whatever. Get off of me, corrupt cop. Finish this quest up. All right, finally finish that quest. Now I gotta talk to Bruno again, so I probably have to go back to the cafe. At least I hope it's the same Bruno and not just different Brunos to, that leads me to the next quest. Hopefully. I almost thought there, was, there wasn't a teleport to the cafe, but it's just right next to the city center. Excellent. I did not mean to use that. Let's see what Bruno wants. Hopefully I don't have to go do a quest for Narancia or Fugo and it just moves on with the story. Like, like who cares? Rosado Nero. Oh, we're gonna fight him now? Cool. Oh, we got a f uh, wait, wait, Which one is Rosado? That's, that's either the one with Metallica or the one with the, uh, like the poison moss, like, stand or something. I don't know. Like, the, yeah, the decaying, like, moss stand. The, uh, the guy who got, uh, the, the six page, seven page Muda on. At least. Actually, I don't, I don't know which one was. Okay, well, that's that's actually pretty far. I think I, I think there's a teleport up there, though. Let's go see. But I'm, I think, yeah, I think Rosado is the one with, like, the like the, the Metallica stand. It's like, you can turn your blood into, like, metal and stuff. Stand was broken. At least in the show it was. I've I never seen anyone do Metallica on Roblox, though. It's the one thing. Right. Does close side take me there? Yep, close side. Excellent. All right. Find Rosato Nero. Why do I keep pressing X? I gotta get used to this control scheme. I, I wish you just keep on something to whatever you wanted to do, not just like like suggestions that they have. Oh, the dope here required level 35. Good thing I over leveled a little bit. Everybody was trying to kill me. Cool. Let's, let's see. They make a Metallica stand for him, or is, or is he just like, or he's just a character and he has it? Me, 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 me. All right, we're gonna pop this head. Okay, yeah, they might—they might have actually made him a Metallica stand. <laughs> if he, oh yeah, he's—he's actually—he's actually doing that thing. Okay, is he invisible? Oh, it's interesting that they actually gave him a stand. A lot of people usually don't do that. Pull him. Get over here. It's gonna kick you. It doesn't matter. Right? It seems when I knock him out of the thing, he just. Oh, he made me cough up razor blades. <laughs> Get over here, man. Easy. All right, that should kill him, right? At least I, I think it should kill him. That's, that's crazy. They actually added Metallica to this game. You've unlocked trials. Trials are special high difficulty missions that require a certain level of play. Trials re reward great amounts of EXP and certain item drops. You can start a trial mission by interacting with funny Valentine. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's like like Valentine just brings you to a different universe and you do like trial missions. That's, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's get back to Bruno. See what's next. Cause I, I, my memory of part five is kind of foggy around this part because I, I remember that I remember they do show like Dopio fight in Rosado, but I, I don't remember what goes on after that or like in between it until they like uh, they go to the boat. 
Receive some information on the boss's possible location. Go meet with journal near the city exit. Near the city exit? Oh, brother. Okay. There's a fast travel spot over there. Max up my... <clears throat> I maxed up my speed, so hopefully it should help me run around faster. This map, this map is like actually humongous. I'm, I am not gonna lie. This, this is definitely bigger than the part one map by far. Uh, yeah, there may not be anything near Jorna. Let's go to the castle and see where this takes me. He's like, okay, yeah, he's he's down this extremely long road. Okay. And yeah, I, I seem a little bit faster with the with the walk speed buff, so I probably have to buff my dash speed that has all to like actually be like smoothing. You're not dash speed, but a uh, dash distance. I wonder how far you, that takes you when you max it out. We'll see. What the hell is that? I thought I thought that was just a regular. Look. Oh, is this is this the the merchant for this place? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Now I know where it is. If I ever need to reset my stats again, dope. No fast travel location here, but. Whatever, I guess. All right, Giorno. Let's go talk to Giorno. He's level 40 for this. I just I just met the requirement without having to ex do an extra grind. Stopio. Oh, oh there's, there's a, <laughs> there's a cutscene. Oh, nah. <laughs> I'm about to get pulling rifts, bro. Oh, there's actually a cutscene for this part. That's dope. I wonder if I can get copyrighted for, for like, because that's only like the. Oh shit! Wait. Oh oh. Huh? Dog? What is going on? Get off of me, man! Hold on. Get off of me. Where's your F tap at? All right, pull his head off. What? Oh my God! Pull, pull your stand out, bro. Hit him with the uppercut. Dash into him. Oh, he's just rewinding time. Oh, oh shit! Hold on, bro. Your stand. Pull your stand out. He just keeps resetting to the same place. He doesn't even have that much health. Oh shit, hold on. Alright, pull his head off. Come here. Bro, ma imagine he starts switching phases and he actually starts getting harder. Alright, hold on. Hit him with the V, pull him here. Bro, he, he just keeps resetting to the same spot. I can go for a beat down here. If I didn't miss it. Holy hell, bro. I just realized, why is there music in this place? Bro, they're trying to get me copyrighted. <laughs> Oh, it is, it is a good thing I've been talking over it. Like, like I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like actual like JoJo music, bro. Hold on. <laughs> All right, hit him with a roundhouse here. Bing. He just like, I, I guess he's supposed to be time skipping away, but he just keeps doing it to like the same spot. This, this boss was easier than the journal boss. <laughs> what the hell? Can I actually finish him with my, with my thing? Got him. All right, no. I actually want to hear the music. I, I don't want to hear the music. I don't want to hear the sound on this one. Bro. Dio, Dio Valo was was easier than... What? It, he was he was easier than Bruno and, and Giorno. <laughs> okay, I guess. Win bonus. Damn, 100,000 EXP. Time bonus, 70,000 EXP. Efficiency bonus, 50,000 EXP. Damn. In a minute, the replayer continue it. That's that's cool. It's like a little like actual boss fight thing. So is that just all of Golden Wind at this point? Oh, I mean, I, I guess I did just beat the final boss of it, bro. That boss was actually easier than than everyone else I fought in this. Hey, I was I was thinking that the ranks the ranks cues are kind of dead in this game. We got a match. All right. I think the way PvP works in this game, you just have it's just standard two two lives and then you win. And I think there's a there's also a rating system, so that may that may also affect how many matches you get if, if they take the rating into uh 
they, they take the Raiden into like consideration when you Q. All right. What this guy got. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Go, go to three strike him, totally, right? What? Okay, he's a vampire on top of Gold Experience Requiem. Watch your stand, please. All right. Hit him with the decapitate. Combo him a little bit. All right. And we're going to kick him back. Hit him with the uppercut. He healed? Hello? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Gold Experience actually has two. It actually has two. Um, bro, he's using this vampire too pull your stand man get off of me pull him towards me i get. i guess it also uh levels you i, I feel like we're, we're we do the same damage to each other but i feel like he's he still has an advantage over me because he's a higher level than me get off of me man what just happened <laughs> Hit him with the uppercut come here get over here no, not when he's doing the barrage. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, see, I got to stalk off. We can, we can do this. Got to stalk off. Where'd he go? Where you, wait, what? Where'd he go? He, he didn't leave the game, but what the hell? Off of me, man. I got the combos. Oh my god. I want the uppercut. Can't cancel that. Snatch his head. Get another free comp. Wait, I thought he couldn't fight back when he had his head attached. I guess you just can't use your stand. Get over here, man. Okay, I, oh, I, I thought it was a counter. I don't think that's a counter. Hold on. Okay, pull out your stand. Remember, it's alt. Die! <laughs> Knock them down. Pull off his head. Enough of that requiem stuff, bro. Hit him with a heavy. Then hit him with the uppercut. Oh, yeah, he fucked up his bra. Jeez, he's, he's done for. He's done for. He's done for. Hit him with a roundhouse. And I got him with the with the beat down. Let's go. Oh. Gold X uh, Requiem stand? Nine matches left before getting ranks? You have placement matches in this game? <laughs> what? Oh, and you can rematch the person you're fighting. That's cool.